climbing the sliding hill trail with Max. Hey, Maximum. Maximum doggy doos. Maximum doofus. <laughs> You're such a silly dog. Hey. It's beautiful here where we live. With the videos and the camera, they do not pick up at all the beauty I see with my eyes. No, they don't. It's gorgeous. Leave it alone. Come on. Max, come. Leave them alone. Good boy. Who are you chasing now? Just leave, leave everybody alone. Chipmunk hole. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, yeah, it's quite the tunnel there. I was sinking. Oh. Yeah, mosquitoes, you don't bother me unless I got my hands full. Puff balls. Those things are so cool. You can eat them when they're white, and then when they turn brown, you can squish them, and all the little seed pods, little, I can't remember what that word is, but anyway, they're little spores, little mushroom spores, go flying all over the place. Gosh, it's beautiful here. Look at that tree. She just grows out of the rocks. All beautiful and proud. And so gorgeous. I'm coming. Mommy's coming. <laughs> yes, baby. I'm coming. Well, had a nice Facebook friend from Sudbury come and help me start yesterday and today with taking out the bunny house, the old dirt, Stephanie McLean. I thank you publicly. You're a doll. We'll see you again in another day or two. That's wonderful. Thank you. She has promised to come back and help till we're done. Hi. Hi! <laughs> you silly dog. Just look at the life here. It's everywhere. Life is everywhere. So beautiful. <laughs> That's so cool. Little yellow thing. It's a little mushroom. Where are you, Max? Well, there you are. What are you doing over there? Come on. Get your goofy bum over here. Get that goofy bum. There he goes. There he goes. Want to go up that way? Come on, baby. Let's burn some energy. Hmm? Mommy could use some fat cells being burned off. This is part of the sliding hill, too. If you're brave enough to start from way up here. <laughs> you start from way, way up there. Come down, 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 down. Take that sharp corner. And keep going the way we just came up. Oh. I don't remember what kind of 
what these berries are called, but I know you don't want to eat them. How beautiful you are, Max. <laughs> oh, cool. More mushrooms. They kind of look like overcooked cauliflower. Jeez, I have a hard time holding it still. What the heck? There. Sorry, folks. Another mushroom. Boy, you're cute. You kind of look chuck like you're a chuck. That's a weird one. Ah, oh, thanks a lot, mosquito. Now look at these. Those are so cute. <laughs> They're like so cute. That's so cute. Hmm. More berries. Hmm. They kind of look like pin cherries, but I know they're not pin cherries. I don't, I don't know what those are. I just know I won't eat them. I don't know what they are. Ah, there's those ones again. Oh, yeah, no thank you. What a pretty berry, though. Look at the spots on it. Isn't that beautiful? Geez, I have a hard time holding this still. Oh, whatever. All right. Oh, come on, phone, focus. And I'll say once again, I would never recommend a Huawei. I don't know what all the hype is about. It's not a good quality phone at all. I would definitely stick with Samsung. Far superior product. Far superior. No. Oh. Oh, gosh, I love nature. So beautiful. It really, really is. Oh, man. I'm coming. <laughs> Look at that. The leaves are turning. Oh, no. Summer goes too fast, and I don't like winter. The older I get, the least I like it. I didn't, I've never really liked winter, not even when I was a kid. Most kids love it. I didn't. Look at that. Looks like little carrot shreds. I don't know what those are. I've never even, even seen those before. Yeah, the camera's not picking up the actual color of them. Hmm. That's too bad. Oh, come on. Don't pick up the color. No, because they're, they're orange. And in the camera here, they look yellow. What a useless phone. <sighs> this is slowly rotting away. Beautiful old tree. This was huge when we first moved here. This chunk that was laying down went right across. And uh, Bill cut it all up to get it out of the trail that we were making. And... Uh, it's slowly disappearing, being taken over by Mother Nature, back into the earth. Full of little mouse holes, though. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that cute? This is just so beautiful. It really is beautiful. Look at the moss. Look at that moss. Oh, isn't that something? <gasps> oh, there's just life everywhere. If people would just open their eyes. Like, truly. Wow, I've never seen these ones either before. Now we get some little bright red funguses of some sort. Just you're cute. Look at you. <laughs> There's a little teeny teeny one there. <laughs> okay, that's just too cool. Oh, 
Oh, I got bit right, right by my armpit. My trail keeps going there. Then it goes up there where the dog took off to. Another home. Somebody lives in there. <laughs> now we're inside this tree. Gosh, that's so cool. Hello in there. Knock, knock, knock. Maybe it's a little fairy home. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez, now I'm itchy. Stupid mosquito, thanks a lot. Very rarely get bit by them. And when they do bite me, it seems it's when my hands are full. Oh, well, these are slimy looking. Ooh, yucky. Ooh, you're slimy. I must have had a frost, maybe, I don't know. There's me, Ash. <laughs> There's some overcooked cauliflower. That's what it looks like. Look at little acorns all over the place. Some will become new trees. Mm -hmm. Our first, oh, that's a nice one. I'm going to take that down and plant it in my yard. Our first summer here. Uh, so that would have been in... 2008, because we moved here in 2007, winter 2000, well, September 14, 2007, we moved here. And uh, found a little acorn that had sprouted, so I took it down the hill to our property, because there's only oak trees up on top of the hill of our property, on top of our mountain, none at the bottom. So I figured, well... I'll take him down, see if he grows. And he did. And he's f actually grown very well, considering how slow growing oaks are. He's really tall. He did quite well for himself. <whistles> oh, there you are. Good boy. Look at these. Are they not beautiful? Little mauve colored flowers. Enjoying the last of the summer sun. Oh gosh, I can't believe we're in September already. Oh, oh well, we can do, winter's gonna come. Can't wish it away. Come on. Max, good boy. Oh, my arm. Oh, crap. I forgot about that. Turkey vulture. Oh, crap. I can't see you now. I lost you. You just can't even see you. Where the heck are you? Oh, I can't see you. I know I'm focused on you. Well, maybe I'll see you after. Oh, he, found, he smells something. To munch on. And contrary to what people think, turkey vultures do not eat live. No, they don't. <laughs> hey. Oh, these are so beautiful and soft and fuzzy. See? Just like a deer's antlers, and the deers love to eat them. These were really, really tall. When we moved here, there wasn't too much wildlife like deers and bear and such because I guess people had been illegally hunting but since we moved here they've all come back into the area there's a turkey vultures way over there flying yeah. mm -hmm. that's a sumac by the way you can make tea out of it and you can make candy out of it kind of like candy apple candy tastes really good that is our crappy town mill. They murder a lot of trees. Sorry, mill people, but you do. <laughs> yeah. Gives people jobs, but it kills a lot of life. That's a paper mill. <clears throat> and that neighbor way down there on the other side of the mountain, there'll often be a bunch of deers in his 
field. And it's so beautiful to see them when you're up here. <laughs> and they always know we're here too. And yet we're really far away. All right, you handsome little devil. Okay, one of those pictures that I have of Buttercup where she's looking out and I said more beautiful, and I say more beautiful than the fall colors. This is where it was. We were standing right here. And those trees back there were all painted in God's beautiful fall colors. Autumn is gorgeous. I like spring, summer, and autumn. I could do without winter. Winter hides all the life and makes everything look dead, and I don't like that. All right, let's head back down. Woo, steep. Good thing I got sticky rubber boots on. You don't want to come down here with something hard, so you're going to wipe out and crack your head for sure. Oh, these are good. Sour dock. <clears throat> these are really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. I like those. <clears throat> All those are good. Really good, folks. <laughs> some people ask me why I'm never in my videos. Because I'm not like some people where I figure I have to film myself. I'm taking you on a nature hike. I want you to see what I'm seeing. You don't need to see my face. What for? The nature is much more beautiful to look at. Tree is down. And eventually some little critters will, critters will burrow into there. Oops. Where are you taking me? That's not the trail, you silly. You're a silly dog. And I almost followed you there. I hurt myself enough. I don't need help, Max. Leave them alone, Max. Come on. You be a good boy. Whoa! Hey, you big goof. You almost ran into me. <laughs> Smarten up. Oh, I gotta be careful here. This gets really slippery, this moss growing on the rocks. I wiped out here once and ooh, uh, I had a sore butt for a while, I'll tell you. We don't come down this way too often, not on our feet. On the quad sometimes, yeah, but not. Whoa, see? <gasps> okay, now my heart's pounding. Oh, <gasps> goodness gracious. Too much. There's another trail. Well, it cuts off that way and goes down. You can't really tell because of all the, over, all the plants growing. And also cuts through here. And through here. And it meets up and goes down there. And it is at the halfway mark of our sliding hill where I showed you guys before. I don't know if that really... Is helpful because you may not have a clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> There's a trail here that goes way down to the bottom swamp and that's a real wicked steep hike. It's not so bad if you go down that way and come back up the other. Oh my teachers were right I get easily distracted. Look at this. Look at this stuff and look at this. Oh the slugs like it. Hi there. And they're the orange slugs. Those are the ones that if you pick up, holy mackerel, they leave a mess of slimy, slimy, orange, adhesive-y kind of stuff on your skin, and it's almost impossible to get it off. If you pick up the slugs that are just kind of like, you know, flesh-colored, now, they're slimy, but it's easy to get their slimy off, but not with this, not with those. These are so cool. Look at that. Let's see if we can get down into it. Now, now it's showing. Oh, I don't. Oh, this phone is so annoying. Come on, man. Where's the color? Oh, knob. Gosh, you're beautiful. Okay. What are you doing, Max? What are you doing? What did you find to sniff? All right. Oh, more of those. Beautiful mauve flowers. Oh, a branch. Great. Get that off our trail. All right. What you sniffing? Did a big wolfie or coyote pee there? Huh? Did they? <laughs> 
Oh, mommy's nose is running because I sneezed earlier. Damn, it's beautiful here. And the trails we've made, as you can see, I don't know if you've noticed, there's not too many trees that we've cut down. We try to zigzag through, pick the easiest space, place to go. On that trail that goes down to the big swamp, you can get down there through here too, if you go in opposite direction. But if you come back up where I first mentioned, that's a backbreaker because it's steep and it's long. So we usually prefer to go down the backbreaker way and slowly work your way back up here. That's still a hard, hard climb too, but it's a lot simpler. Let's go this way, Max. This is a, just a, another sort of shortcut, I guess. Okay. Whoa. Well, this is going to be a long video. It's over 20 minutes so far. Oh, what the heck? I can't even tell where the trail is anymore. There's so many plants. Oh, there it is. It's over there. I just went the wrong way. That's why. Okay, watch out. Please. Thank you. You can go up that way. Oh, oh spider web right on my face. I have nothing against you spiders, but I don't like walking through your webs because then I don't want you crawling on me. I might accidentally kill you, and then I'm going to be upset by that. Ooh. Ooh, sparkly. I have enough rocks collected at home now. Oh, gosh, my arm. Oh, I whacked it really hard yesterday poke some metal wire fencing right through my arm, right through the muscle and right against the bone. Hit it real hard and it's kept me awake most of the night. Ooh, huge. See, look at that. It's way bigger than my hand. Okay. Geez, I hope I don't pick up any tips through here. Don't look like anybody's been walking through here, though, so. Oh, I'm not even on the trail. Oh, yeah, I am. I'm just lost because of this tree down. Oh, poor tree. Poor, poor tree. Ah, it's a um, hazelnut tree. We have those on our property, but you got to really hike to get to them. I didn't even know that one was there. And we never get any anyway. The critters get them before they're ready, so. Come on, Max. <whistles> Come on. <whistles> Come on. Good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. Don't go too far, okay? I'm not worried about being by myself on the trail because I can take care of myself. I'll just punch the crap out of whatever might be there if it tries to hurt me. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's itchy. Ah, oh, you stupid mosquitoes. Well, this can be a long video. Nope. Good boy. Oh, oh, raspberries. Ooh, that's peaky. There's also blackberry bushes out here too. Those really hurt your legs and your skin. The raspberries hurt enough, but the blackberries, oh, it's like they take steaks off of you. And the hawthorns, oh, those are nasty. We have some hawthorns in through there. We avoid that area because there's lots of them in there. And that's very painful. My daughter years ago, when she was four, that's when we were still living in town, her and I, we uh, 
No, I'm not going that way today. Come on. That's my big bum. This way. Um, anyway, we were going to a, for a picnic hike, her and I. And uh, come to discover that there were some hawthorn trees there. And a hawthorn needle. Ooh. It was about four inches long. Went into her little rubber boot. And into, I don't even know how, a needle that big. She, my daughter was very tiny for four years old. Everybody thought she was two. She was just a very tiny little girl. And she still is. Well, I was only uh, 92 pounds when I got pregnant from my daughter. My husband is six foot, but he was only 145 pounds. He's, he's a small guy. Um, anyway, so my daughter was very tiny. She... Uh, managed to get a four to a four and a half inch hawthorn needle needle in her little rubber boot and it managed to get up under her heel and went three quarters of the way into her heel <laughs> to say I was upset why well, I'll tell you <laughs> well, I was extremely upset I love my child very much and that really upset oh that's beautiful and that really upset me picture of that. Ooh, we're at 2626. Oops. Ooh, almost tripped over a root. So you get spots like that sticking out every now and then. You catch your foot in that and you go flying. And that's kind of scary. Because <laughs> you could get hurt, you know. And I hurt myself without having to have any help from anything else. Aww, freaking wind, murdered a tree. You're such a jerk. God, I don't like that when I see that. Hurts my feelings. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, that mosquito bite is really itchy. I can't complain. All this time, only one mosquito bite, almost half an hour. No, this way. Okay, yeah, I'll go that way with you. Why not? I'll just step over the tree. And then if I slip and wipe out, now well, people will get a good giggle because they'll see a funny view as the phone goes flying and records whatever it's seeing when it's flying. Oh, I didn't wipe out. Well, would you believe that? Oh. This was... The only original trail that was on the property when we moved here, it was completely grown in, really bad. But we could make out where it was. It didn't go very far. So we opened that and then we just branched off everywhere and made our own trails. <sighs> One here, a bobcat snatched one of my roosters, we don't have roosters anymore. They're too much of a pain in the butt. And they don't give you eggs, so there's no point in having one. And you don't need a rooster. Believe it or not, you don't need a rooster to get eggs. You only need a rooster if you want baby chickens. Anyway, a bobcat snatched one of my roosters. Uh, right in front of my face, in the yard. There's a long run anyway, but I ran from the house, chased them all through the trail and all the way up there, climbing up the mountain and everything. And uh, he dropped the rooster. The rooster was dead, unfortunately. Or she dropped the rooster. And she turns and she looks back at me like I'm just the craziest person she's ever met in her life. And uh, that was in the winter time. So, yeah. Mm, wow. That usually goes down there, but that's pretty rough. So, I'm coming, Max. Just wait. Oh, don't break. I don't want to be slamming myself on this tree. Oh, ow. Oh, that hurt. Scrape the inside of my leg on the tree branch. Holy crap on a cracker. Crap on a cracker. Oh, see? I just scraped the moss off that rock. Yeah, that's the reason we didn't go this way anymore either. 
it's extremely dangerous. There's a lot of rock here and it's covered in moss and it's always wet. There's always a little bit of water coming down there. That can be very dangerous. I'm surprised I haven't seen any little toadies. At this time of the year, there's usually toadies all over this section of our trail. And there's Max. Ooh! Oh. oh, Mommy just hurt her ankle a little bit, Max. Oh, look! Buttercup flowers. And they're all disabled ones. Oh, I love you, Buttercup. This time of the year, there's no buttercup flowers left anywhere, but she always leaves me little signs everywhere. Little flowers, buttercup flowers in the folly. Eh? Jeez! Crap on a cracker! Well, I'm almost at the, almost at the bottom, not quite. It's just a little bit of a lump left here, and I, I'm still the kind of person I'd probably wipe out there anyway. And my dad says I would trip on a molehill. Yeah, probably. I'm very, very klutzy. And my husband always says it's because I move too fast. More disabled flowers, buttercup flowers. I don't move too fast. I could be going at a snail's pace and I would still hurt myself. <laughs> it's my lot in life. My parents are both klutzy, so, you know, I come by it honestly. I truly did. Now we're on our way back. This is the way we started from. Well, one of the holes. There's holes periodically all over our property that my husband dug so that animals would have something to drink. <laughs> You're crazy. And frogs would have somewhere to live. And <clears throat> There's quite a few of them on the property. And some of them dry up like this one. Dried up, but... Uh, there's quite a few of them that stay full of water, which is nice. And then with the stuff he dug up, we flattened out the trail. This is uh, one of the new trails we had made when we first moved here. The original old trail that leads to the hill trail is down there. And it was just way too wet, rough and way too wet. It's over in there where that long grass is. Right in there, that's where the original trail was. But it's too low, too wet, too rocky. Like there's some really big rocks in there. It's just, no, it didn't make sense. Especially with my husband having a, um, a neck problem. He broke his neck twice in his life. So he suffers from quite a bit of pain and vertigo because of it. So he needs as gentle as possible without tripping over crap, tripping over tree roots and yes, I don't need him falling down and hurting himself. See, there's another hole and there's another one coming up over here. There's another one and another one and another one and another real long one all for the frogs and the deers and all the other little critters. They can have somewhere to cool off and something to drink, somewhere to live. There's some more. And it looks so beautiful too, you know, like it, oh, nature is so wonderful. What the heck is that? Oh, a drowning mushroom. I was wondering what the heck that was. Okay, I'm almost back to the house. Big, big, beautiful pine tree that fell down a few years ago. <sighs> Got knocked over by the wind and snapped her right out. That really is very sad. It is. Get her. Yes. Isn't that beautiful, people? Look at that in there. That's wonderful. Oh, you got a spider walking on me. Oh, I gotta come back and try to uh, fix this little tree. Oh, come on, get off me, mosquito, please. I don't want to squish you, and it's going to happen if you keep bugging me. 
I don't like to kill anything, so more trenches. Another one. Another one. And another one. <sighs> Gosh, it's beautiful here. All right. And I'm home. The back of the pond again. One of these days, we're just going to fall through that bridge that we made. It's pretty rotten now. All right. Goodbye, folks. I'll see you on YouTube. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Love you all. Bye.